Hi guys. So, um, up on the Emma Roo web uh, Instagram, Facebook page, I've put up the restorative poses and I've tried to explain them as best as I can. What we're going to do today is I'm going to explain them in person with the prompts and any available um, uh, modifications that you may need. So I figured that this would be a great one to do. I'm going to explain a pose and um, I'm not going to sit and wait for how long it should be um, because I'm having a hard time with length of videos and getting them up on YouTube and things like that. So I'm going to do a pose. I'll tell you everything about it, all the modifications, and then I'm going to tell you how long you should hold it for. So hopefully you have your phone or your tablet or something handy so that you can just press pause, maybe set a timer, maybe not. So restorative poses are kind of cool because you're totally more than welcome to go to sleep. So this video can also help you. Um, you can just find a pose that resonates with you. If you have a hard time sleeping, um, if you're having anxiety, if you just need to calm down. Um, you'll find that they are very therapeutic. Um, it's, it's an amazing practice. Restorative isn't about stretching. I call restorative yoga for your insides. So it's more than just trying to get into a pose and hold it. It's not stretching like yin where you get into a pose and you hold it and you're aggressive. Well, somewhat aggressively working on it. Um, this it's what it does is it, it changes the energy and it changes the flows of blood in your body. So, and it also helps to change and align your physical, um, structure as well as your emotional and mental, um, and your energetic structure as well. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. So um, what the, the props that I have with me. So you're going to need a strap. It doesn't have to be a yoga strap. Okay. Um, you can use anything that ties that has a bit of length to it. Um, a yoga strap is preferred, but it is not necessary. Okay. We are going to, it would be handy to have some sort of a cotton blanket. These Mexican blankets are phenomenal. Um, they, they don't compress very easily. So um, I also have, uh, there's cotton blankets that you can use, anything that it's not like a duvet or a comforter, okay? You need something, even things that are polar fleecy, if you squeeze it, you can feel your fingers, it's not gonna help. You need something a little more dense. You need yoga blocks or something to add height. Okay, yoga blocks work. Um, you just want to sort of collect as many things as you can. Um, I have a giant yoga block, which probably none of you have, um, but it gives you an idea. You can get some books that maybe you don't use. Um, we have these giant foam pads that um, normally more than one would help, but again, if we're trying to get height for things, think about how you can stack things to create height. And you want, so I have my bolster here, okay? So a bolster is just like a giant pillow. Um, I have a pillowcase on mine, um, just because it makes cleaning it easier. Um, if you have a bolster, that's great. A bolster, oh, so this bolster in particular is actually, uh, what about, 15, 16 years old, and it still retains its shape. It has a little bit of give, but not much, so it isn't a pillow, okay? Um, things that you might be able to use, okay, um, might be like a couch cushion. Um, so it just depends on the exercise. So once again, I'm going to give you options where you can sort of slow down and stop the video in between poses trying to find stuff. It might take you doing the video once just to figure out everything you need for it. Um, if you have any questions, you guys know, always feel free to send me a message. Okay. So our first pose that we're going to do, 
Um, and usually this is the one that um, we usually start with in any class. Um, also, a lot of these poses sort of are mimicked in the um, suspension classes, the tractioning ones. So, um, so you just want to uh, uh, keep, keep, keep that in mind for once we're back to the studio, okay? So anyways, back to what we're doing. So you can use what I would prefer is two blankets that are this height if you're using a blanket because once you compress it goes down, you can even do three. Um, you can use yoga blocks. If you only have one blanket and you have like yoga blocks, you can stack it, okay? Um, if you are using something harder, um, try to at least cushion it. So say that you don't have a cotton blanket, put a towel, fold it a few times. What you don't want is to feel pressure. You want to feel release, okay? There's a big difference. You need your strap. I'm gonna use my bolster. Okay, and we're gonna do a pose called legs up the wall. Now, I don't have a wall, <laughs> not in here anyways. So I'm gonna do legs up my couch. So, um, and like I said, you don't have to have a wall. You might enjoy just having um, the legs up the couch to begin with anyways. I'm gonna show you how to do it and the variations. So, so first you take whatever you're putting your bum on Okay, and you put it right against the wall. Okay, um, make sure that you have your strap handy, and um, you may actually decide that you want to um, have a blanket handy just to cover yourself. Because when you stand these poses for five to ten minutes, you're probably going to get chilly because you're not you're not actually working, you're not actually doing anything. Um, so make sure that you stay warm, that you have everything to stay warm, right? Even make sure that you have your slippers on, okay? So what you're going to do is you have your, your pillow there, okay? What you do is you lay on your side, okay? And my bum is right against my couch, and I'm going to just lift my bottom hip and put it up on top of my bolster or your blanket or whatever. Try to get up. Now you have to get off this elbow or else you're gonna hurt yourself. So right away, okay, keep your knees bent and everything, you're gonna slide yourself down onto your arm. I really hope you guys can still see me. I think you can. And then you're gonna roll and put your legs up. Good. So from here, what we're gonna do, okay, is you're gonna find your strap, okay, or whatever it is that you have. Now, it doesn't have to be super tight, okay? What you're gonna do is you're just gonna put it around your ankles and you're gonna let your feet go up. If you have a wall here, let your feet go up, okay? Um, your bum doesn't have to touch. You do wanna be in as close as you can, okay? But just let your legs relax open. If you have something that doesn't have a buckle, all you do, guys, it's so easy. You just tie just tie an easy, just an easy knot, okay? Like nothing, it's just so that your legs, you don't have to actually hold your legs up. It's just so that your legs are relaxing open into the strap. That's all, okay? If you're doing it on the couch, still strap your ankles, even strap up around the shins a little bit more and let your legs actually fall open into it, but let it feel supported, okay? From here, you can put your blanket on, you can reach your arms up overhead. Nice deep breaths. If you're doing legs up the wall, and if you happen to have a sandbag or something that's weighted, you can actually put it on your feet. Just don't make it something that can fall, okay? So that's why sandbag, something that can move. Um, even one of those uh, neck pillows that you put in the microwave, you could put that on your feet. And it just helps to sort of ground you. You can even put it on your knees if you have your... Uh, legs on your couch. So just open up and just relax. Close your eyes. Nice deep breaths. So what you want to feel here is that you're not overarching your back. Okay. You want to feel that the hips are higher. What this is doing is it's promoting. And even if you do have your feet on the couch, okay, you might actually take some pillows under your feet to assist, to help, uh, the blood flow. So it still feels 
like your legs are up a wall. So you can also do that. This is great for, this is an amazing pose. Anxiety, depression, uh, jet lag, um, which I don't think any of us have right now. Um, but it's, um, it's amazing for when we're feeling overwhelmed. And right now there's just too much going on. It's very overwhelming. I hear you. So just allow yourself to breathe. So what you could do here is just put on some nice music or some chanting. There's a beautiful chant on, uh, I think it's on Spotify. It's called the Eternal Om, and it's quite gorgeous. Um, I can refer some other um, playlists and such if you wish. Um, I have an amazing playlist that I absolutely love on um, Spotify. So if you find me on Spotify, it's called Pizza and Wine. <laughs> and it's just this awesome collection of, of beautiful music. So I think the first one's a little bit fast, but just go past the first one. So you can hold this for five to 10 minutes as long as you wish. Your feet will grow cold and that's normal because you're draining the blood, okay? So this is a great refresh. This is good for your heart. Just make sure that you're breathing and allow yourself to relax. So you could also stay here and go and play one of my breathing exercises or a meditation that I have. I have tons of free things, guys, on my YouTube channel as well, right? So just hashtag Shannon Fun and you should find me or else look up Shannon M with a period and then Holmes. So this is your first one. Five to seven minutes or five to ten minutes or as long as you wish. Not a big deal. When you're done to get out of the pose, you're going to go ahead and just bring the feet in or slide the feet down the wall. You're going to go ahead and roll over onto your side. So you roll back over to the side that you just came from. Slide your hips off of whatever they are in and stay on your side for a moment. Just stay here and breathe. And when you're done, you're going to slowly start to press yourself up to sit. Good. And take, you can actually leave the strap on your legs um, if you wish for the next pose. So the next pose that we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the heart opening one. Okay. So we're going to be um, laying on our back. So that's a really nice um, blood mover pose. For this next one, what we're going to be doing is now we're starting to get into sort of moving the spine around a little bit. So I'm trying to give myself enough space here. So, um, uh, da, 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 da. okay. So you're going to need your pillow. You can use your couch cushion, whatever you wish. You can have a yoga block at, I don't know how far you can see, Ooh, at the end. Oh yeah, see, you can still see that, that's good. Um, this is to hold your feet up. I think I'm gonna take a thicker one, or you can use two. Because you really, it's really not about <clears throat> stretching. You wanna feel as supportive as possible. So you really wanna feel like you're just getting this really big, awesome sort of hug. So what, um, what we're going to do is you're going to sit up on the bolster. Now have a blanket handy or two and you're going to sit and what you want is the corner to hit right at about where the bra strap is. So, or just at the lower part of your shoulder blades. Sorry guys. And so you're going to go ahead and come down. You find where that's hitting and then you take your head down. Now this is just half of it. Okay. The other half is taking your arms up overhead. So I'm having to move down a little bit and reach my arms out so that my shoulders are down. My head is long. Now my knees are bent. If this is going to be too aggressive for you, you can take a blanket and put it right at the base of your bum. Okay. And then you can stretch your legs. 
This is gonna help you relieve your low back, okay? The more blankets you need, the more your back's gonna get relief, okay? You can also wiggle up a little bit more and see if that gives you some relief by pulling the ribs down. But the pose in itself is like this. So what we're doing here is we're actually opening up the sternum, we're opening up through the back part of the spine, sorry, the upper part, the thoracic spine, creating nice open breaths. A lot of times when we break into our survival mode, fear, um, we compress. And this is about opening. Okay, so you don't wanna also be too, too high. Okay, so this height is perfect. This is why bolsters are seriously worth their weight in gold. They're so amazing. Um, but you just reach out and you breathe and your light feet are just hanging. So my ankles are on the blocks. My feet are strapped together so I can relax my legs, right? So it takes, again, a little bit of practice, a little bit of playing, and you can cover yourself with a blanket. And again, five to 10 minutes, stay here and breathe, play music, listen to a meditation, fall asleep and relax. This also helps to compress in through the throat chakra a little bit. So if you're having a hard time speaking, communicating, or if you feel that you have been unable to speak your truth, lots of times we get blocked here. Um, yeah, it's a good pose. So just keep breathing. Now to get out of this pose, what you're going to do is you're gonna slowly take your elbows down beside you. You're gonna take one foot out. You should be able to take the feet out of the strap, no problem. And you're gonna put one foot down. You're gonna let the other leg come in. Just don't worry about props, right? Don't, like I have the strap still around my one foot. Who cares? Not a big deal, right? Just stay chill. And we're gonna go ahead and take the foot over and we're gonna make our way over onto our side. Good, and just stay here for a moment. Good, so just relax and breathe. So that was opening up the upper back, right, our thoracic spine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this down more. So you're going to take the blocks right to the end. You might not even need blocks depending on what you're using. So uh, don't worry about it. So sorry, I'm just trying to see what my camera is doing. Hmm, okay. So. What we're going to do is um, come and now we're actually going to lay down first. This pose is extremely similar to the last one, but what's different is where the cushions are placed. So you can actually also go sideways with your cushion if it's too long. You might want blocks. I'll show you the block version just in case. So what you do is you're going to lay down and you're going to hop your bum up onto it. So where you want um, your bolster, your blocks, whatever you're using is under the pelvis. So we're actually stretching our flexors, okay? So those are at the front of the hips. So we've gone out of the low back or out of the upper back, sorry guys, and this is where we are. So. I'm just letting myself pull down through my ribs, pulling down, and I'm staying really open through here. Now, you can go as, you can go higher. I was gonna say you can go as high as you want. No, you can't go as high as you want. But, so for someone like me, who my hip flexors aren't really that tight, okay? You can take something a little bit higher you lift your bum. We do this in yoga class a lot. So if anybody here is from my forward classes, you guys have done this with me. You can take your hips on, right? And you stretch and you stay here. 
still getting a bit of an arch, but it's just different because of where the pressure is being placed, right? So it's all very different. And this, again, your feet are strapped up and you're just relaxing. Now, here is where I would put something under um, on top of the block just to cushion it a bit. If you're sensitive through your sacrum and through your tailbone, I am. Um, it's just the way that mine is shaped. So um, I'd probably want to put something there because it gets uncomfortable. Okay, so this is pose number three. Okay, so it's the flexor stretch. And I just want you to relax. You shouldn't have any strain in your low back. You might have a gentle pulling and that's okay, but no strain. Nice big breaths. You could also use a roller if you have a roller at home to go under your hips. Just make sure that you're comfortable. If you find the roller too high, you can always take something and put it under your shoulders to bring you up a little bit higher. So you can play with heights that way too. So say you only have something taller, lift it up. Okay, five to 10 minutes. Good, so for Getting out of this pose, you're gonna very slowly again, take your foot out of the strap, place it down, take your foot out of the other strap. If you're on a bolster and stuff, take your feet on, on the bolster, okay? If you're on the bolster, you're gonna walk your feet over and lift the hips and place them on the ground. If you have your hips on a block or on a roller, you're gonna lift the hips, take it out, and slowly roll down. And just stay here for a moment and relax. Take a breath, and then gently rock from side to side. So bring the knees into the chest ever so gently. Take a breath. Good. And then go ahead and make your way over onto your side and come up. Good. Pose number four is the recline twist. Now, this is one of my favorites simply because I am, you guys know this, I'm a tummy sleeper. It's horrible. But you can't sleep any other way. So... It is what it is, and you have to do what you can to undo it. So, um, regardless, it doesn't matter what you are or aren't, um, this is an amazing pose. I absolutely adore this pose. So, um, what we're going to do is, you don't need blocks, um, unless you're going on, you need your pillow. You might actually want to keep a block. And you might want to keep your blanket handy if you want to cover yourself. Um, make sure that you're on something comfortable. The carpets that I'm on, I should have mentioned this way in the beginning, are super, super thick. So um, I'm not using a yoga mat because these are pretty amazingly thick. So I don't need that. But make sure that you're comfortable. You should be able to keep relaxing. I know I keep saying this, but if you're tense, you're not going to do yourself any good. So. You have your bolster or your couch cushions or whatever, okay? And knees are bent, feet are about shoulder width apart, okay? What you're gonna do, you're gonna take both of your knees and you're gonna tip them in one direction. So your back knee tips into your front arch of your foot, okay? If you didn't have your feet wide enough, then just move it. It's not that big of a deal. You're gonna just lift and move the hips back so that whatever cushions you're using are in line with your hip. So right now, the back is in line with the back of my bum, okay? Now, I'm gonna draw my belly in, I'm gonna rotate myself around, my knee stays in my foot. This is what helps keep this back, is you're rotating around, good, and let yourself sort of move, okay? Let yourself sort of go up and down a little bit, let yourself pull yourself around. Soften the belly and relax the neck. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, you're gonna go ahead and slowly come down. Now, there's two things you can do. Well, three, technically. You can do the head the same direction as where your knees are pointing. Okay. You can go forehead down if you're comfortable with that, as long as you don't put weight on your elbows, or 
but you can also look away. So this adds complete rotation. Now you might move your face to the other side of your cushion. So if you have a big couch cushion, you might move it over here if you're trying to do this so that you do have an edge. So you're not really turning your neck a lot. So just stay here and breathe. And you can stay here for five to 10 minutes. You can move your arms up. You can take arms down, find what works. Now from here to get out, you bring your hands down under the shoulders. You go ahead and lift yourself straight up. Okay, you're gonna walk yourself back around to face the same direction as the knees. And you're gonna come all the way up and you're gonna let your bum shift. And you're gonna go ahead and just come over the legs, or you can do it this way. Okay, it doesn't matter, just, just let your spine reset. Take a nice big breath. Good, and we're gonna come up. Good, and now we're gonna go the other way, okay? So I'm sorry, I'm gonna have my back to you. So knee into the other foot. Good, lift and sit the hips back. Okay, so if you had any questions about what I was talking about with the other side, it will be clarified because you'll see this way. Okay, so this is all in line. You're going to come around and you're also going to discover that you rotate better one way than the other. So just pay attention to that. Good. Drawing in the belly. Good. Taking a nice big inhale. And exhale, slowly come down. Good. Now you can have the face the same direction as the knees. You can have the face down. Or you can also rotate and look off the back edge of the bolster. Close your eyes. Again, arms can go down. Arms can reach up. Okay, wherever you want. Five to ten minutes. And to come out slowly, take the hands under the shoulders. You're gonna slowly press up. Good, and slowly make your way around. Good. And again, if you want, you can come forward and stay here for a few moments. You don't have to, because the next pose we're doing isn't a twist, so it's gonna, your spine's gonna reset itself. So, um, this pose, second last. Second last posture, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our blocks. Okay, now you don't need to have blocks for this. Um, you can use, just find stuff, books, and stack them up, right? There's all kinds of things you can do. So you want to stack your blocks like this if you have them. So this is what we're trying to build is this angle, okay? Um, since my blocks are not thick, I'm going to do this and then you're going to go ahead and take your bolster and you're going to lay it up them. Okay. So that's that. You're going to use your blanket and we're going to grab our strap. Oh, there's a strap. So for your strap, um, what you can do is if you have a buckle, you're gonna, you, if you have a buckle on your strap, you probably know how to use it. Um, hopefully you do, if not, ask me and I'll tell you. Um, but regardless, you're gonna bring your strap around and you're gonna to take it down below the hips. So this is where my pelvis bone, my ASIS is. You're gonna go lower. You're gonna take your feet together. People have a really hard time getting this, right? <laughs> it's okay, it's not easy. So you're going to take it and you're going to put it under and then you're going to pull the tail. So alternatively, you can bring the feet in and then you can try and tie it. Oh, I don't know what just happened there. So I'm just going to tie it. See there. It doesn't have to be too much. And it's not about yanking the feet in as much as feeling like you can sit supported. So mine could be a little bit tighter for me, but 
not a big deal. So what we're going to do, we're going to move our bum to the bottom of the cushion. You can do this with the couch cushion, pillows, whatever you want. And you're going to go ahead, make sure you grab your blanket and you're going to fold it a few times and then you're going to roll it. Okay. What you're going to do, you're going to take the round part of the roll, you're going to tuck it in the neck, hold on, and you're going to roll down the bolster and you're going to tuck that roll or a towel will work here too into the neck and you're going to let your feet move out and you're going to open up the chest and you're just going to stay here and breathe. Good. If it gets too much in the hips to be like this, you can support the legs. Okay. Or you can just abandon the legs, take the feet out and stretch them out. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. So you're going to go ahead and just open up here. Great way to rest and relax if you have something to put over your eyes, if you have an eye pillow. Always buy your eye pillows from somewhere reputable, like Half Moon has good ones. Half Moon has great props if you're ever interested in buying props. So just stay here and relax. I can also order bolsters for you guys. I don't know if they're open right now, but I can uh, get you guys bolsters. So stay here five to ten minutes or longer and relax. So from here, we're going to go ahead and make our way up. So softly open your eyes, take a stretch. Good. And if your feet are in, tucked in, let them come out. Good. You can bend them and gently rock from side to side a little bit. Good. And you're going to nod the head and roll yourself up or hop yourself up. Good. Finally, the last pose is Shavasana. So um, for Shavasana, there's a few ways that you can do it. Um, you can also make this um, an extra pose and then Shavasana as well. It technically isn't really a pose, but in Shavasana, um, so it means corpse pose, kind of relaxation. It's the good part of class, right? Um, what you do is you keep your bum down and you move it away. And you go and you press your back in and you take your head down and then you just let your chest open up. So this is another great chest opener. So, and you can have the legs stretched out or you can have something under the knees or you can also have your knees up on your couch. And if you do any of those, I'd suggest tying your legs to support them. Okay. So this is one way to do it. Or this could be pose six, seven, I don't know. So this could be an entirely different pose. This is a great opener as well. Um, so there's that. But for Shavasana, normally we want you down on the ground. So just to help you get as comfortable as possible, right? If you really are digging the, the neck roll thing, put the neck roll back in there and you're gonna take whatever cushion you have and place it under the legs. The arms are up to the sides, get some blankets. And I'm going to talk you into Shavasana. So go ahead and allow your arms to come to the sides, your ankles relax, your heels melt down into the ground, your toes release out to the sides. Your calves are soft, your knees release and your thighs relax. Allow your belly to rest in towards the pelvis and release your spine vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up, opening your chest, releasing your arms, elbows, wrists all the way through to your fingertips. Your neck and throat relax, your jaw releases, allowing your lips to part and your tongue to release away from the roof of your mouth. Your nose is soft, your eyes relax and the space between your eyebrows releases. Feel all the muscles and all the skin on the face relax down into the ground. Your brain relaxes, your mind releases, 
Your entire body sinks deeply into the ground and all that's left is that amazing sensation of your breath. 